Guys, I'm nervous. Right, we're floor in store for today. We haven't even said hi to YouTube. Ah! <laughs> we're, lo we're sending Yanev out for 500,000 and we do have one transfer deal right now that we're working on for 19 year old center back Klaus Lauritsen. Lauritsen, very untechnical, but physically and mentally accomplished as a center back. So we, we, we would like him. He's also 6'5", 189 pounds. And so we, we obviously like that, you know, because we're attracted to tall men. And, um, what? <clears throat> you hear something? We've got Klaus Lauritsen. Look at that! Look at that on Klaus! I like Klaus. Not only that, he's worth more than what we're paying for him, obviously. So we, we sign up Klaus Lawrence and we continue to build a core of good young center backs. And the cream will rise. The cream shall rise. The cream must rise. Well, we're paying 425000 up front with an eventual escalation up to $1.2 million over the next three years uh, after league appearance. And we're loaning him back until the end of the season because... We don't need him this season, and we figured that was what was going to help us win out over the other contract offers uh, that we that, that had been sent his way. We were not the only team that offered him a contract, and so we will accept the deal, loan him back hey, until the end of the season, First and then bring him over. Able to catch for a while. So Lauritsen gets loaned back until the end of the season. Yanev is signed for Ghent. So this is another Youth Academy player that we've sold for real money, not, not Monopoly money, real money. Salzburg sold somebody for 65 million. <sighs> Bro. We'll beat him anyways. We'll beat him anyways, chat. See you later, Yanev. Thank you for coming through our youth academy. Unfortunately, you ended up not being great, but Gent doesn't know that yet. Uh, so have fun. We need to sell now to reduce our wage bill. And we'll sell Andrea Maroney now. You cheapskates. This are really fun at parties. Ah! 150,000 is like what I spent on my GPU and my computer. <sighs> You're joking. You don't want to pay $50,000 to have this guy for an extra half season. Okay. All right. So we can't unload Maroney unless we literally just wanted to let him go for free. Which apparently we would have to do. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you later. All right. Um, but, but oh, this hurts. Paul Nolan, everybody. Paul Nolan. Okay, okay. We've gotten into the weird songs. I know. I know. Clap it up. Everybody clap it up. Paul Nolan's on his move. He's on his move back to the MLS. And, uh, you know, he was getting worse. He was falling out of the team, but... What a player. Came from Little Rock, Arkansas. Signed him from Little Rock, Arkansas. On a free, and he came in and he he gave us a lot of great performances and uh, what what a guy, what an engine, Arangolo Conte, and we sell him out for three million dollars. So now let's have that transfer go through, and then we'll have just a little bit of money to play with. Uh, the fact Paul Nolan was like, "Oh, Vanderhorst, please, for the love of God, thank you." I'm gonna go with is not available for loan. Yeah. Uh, Luca Marich. Give me a loan deal and let's do not first choice goalkeeper. Let's do cup goalkeeper. 
Lone move might have more chance of beating the deadline. Well, I hope it has more chance of beating the deadline because we need Luka Marichin on loan. This is the first we could offer out for that loan move. We did not have the money to make that loan offer until right now. I am sweating. Meanwhile, we could go get Christian Kuba. His release clause of 525,000 is actually entirely within our budget. And he is somebody who is, he's a great value play. I don't think we'd be able to get it done before the deadline, but he's a great value play. Uh, current average salary would be high. Oh my goodness. Christian, you want to be a breakthrough prospect? One, you're better than a breakthrough prospect. You're a legit first team player for us. You want to be a breakthrough prospect making like the fourth most money on the team? That's hilarious. This dude's gonna, this dude's gonna pansy out here. I just bullied this guy so much. Okay. Current season costs 552. This is a lot of money, man. We're gonna finalize the offer and send it in. Just see if we can get it in before the deadline. Then we'll make the decision. Yes. That was the one we needed. We've got our backup goalkeeper till the end of the season and Luka Marich. All right, so we've loaned in a goalkeeper. A quick deadline day loan of Luka Marich to make sure that we have a decent goalkeeping option who speaks the language. And Christian Kuba's deal just went through. So we have the opportunity to pick up this guy. Um, when's his birthday? Okay, he just turned 21. But the adaptability is a serious concern. This guy does not have a lot of time to adjust to being here. That's probably why he hasn't left. It's probably why he stayed in Bolivia because he doesn't he doesn't want to leave. Like, there's things that I like and things that I don't like. Things that I don't like. Uh, wage is high. Adaptability is bad. Right? Little old. Needs to learn to play in our system. Okay, things that I do like. Outstanding mentality. Great drive, outstanding mentality. You know? Team player. Very high potential, right? Yes, Bolivian in, 80% say yes. We're a democracy chat. The season ticket holders have voted. We are signing Christian Kuba with an hour to go on deadline day. The drama is insane. All right, Christian. And the immediate value. Oh my God, I'm a genius. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a genius. This man has so much value in this team. It's crazy. Now, obviously, we probably couldn't get that for him, but you're telling me like a, a passive seven to eight million dollars well below his market value as a player wouldn't be outstanding. <laughs> he was never going to reach all the way up to that potential anyways, but the fact that at 21, he still's got that full range. I like it. Putting it a bit late for this. Suppose it's not late for them. Uh, oh, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a, wait a second. One, Gavrich might become unsettled if we don't allow him to speak to him. Two, they just came in with an offer of 6.75 plus 1.2 plus 20% percent transfer uh, percent of profit. Watch. Yes! 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 23-year-old Nemanja Gavrich for $16.5 million to RB Leipzig. The offer came on the last day from a big money club. <sighs> now, the key here is that Gavrich is obviously a good player, right? He's obviously a good player, but he's not getting any better. Right, and so eventually we're gonna outgrow Nemanja Gavrich as a player anyways. And so he's in form and we're able to get $16.5 million for him. No, we don't have time to cash and spend. We just got out of the transfer deadline day, but we do have a lot of midfielders. Now I'm really happy that we signed Christian Kuba because we've got another offensive midfielder that we can work into the team. 
Oh, it hurts. He's like, I'm looking forward to playing on a regular basis uh, in the Champions League. Only 3.2 million of this is going into the budget. Why we're down to 20% transfer revenue retention. Unbelievable. What a signing and what a flip for the club. Ladies and gentlemen, Nemanja Gavridge. Okay, man. Was a fantastic player for us right away. Dropped to 7.05 and then this year 7.29 so far this season. But an absolutely monster deal that was able to overcome the fact that we really wanted to hang on to him. 16 and a half million less than two whole years after we bought him for $1.8 million. And he's a player that kind of is who he is. He's not going to get that much better. And so he's off to Leipzig and we get a boatload of money into the bank. In general, our databases, they weren't great for like our short list. They weren't great for loans. They're really coming together quite nicely. And well, always going back and forth, dude. You are always going back and forth. Ulrich, what? Like, you are so up and down. You're very interesting. I know eventually he's going to kick on, but it's a little annoying. There we go. All right, we're making progress. Our scouts are turning very... Oh, Salzburg drew! Let's go, baby. Austria, Vienna has drawn Salzburg. They drew. Well, that's uh, that's an okay start. We've got a match. Oh my goodness, the winner break, the winner window. They're all done. And our team is ready to play. I am excited, chat. I am very excited. Let's play a match. I've selected a substitute outside the match day squad because he is unavailable. Uh, I, I was, guess I was wondering where Vince Brody was. Olafson's not available. Rusu's still out with the injury. Lima and Brody are suspended. Bobby Smith is out with, uh, well, they're both. They have the flu. I sent them home with the flu. So we're a bit watered down for this game. I would love for us to come out and just smack them around, though. Uh, we'll give Luka Maric number one. Mo Blanche is going to get 18. Igor Sodin's going to get 14. Uh, Chris and Kuba is going to get 21 and Danny Ding wants eight. We can't give him that. How about 28? Though, Danny. Australian national team man, Danny Ding. Yeah, this is a. Uh, can you imagine? I just realized. Okay, Bolivia is really. They're really high in the mountains, though. But Chris and Kuba comes from Bolivia and is like. First match, I put him on the field. It's like 20, 20 Fahrenheit out there. It's freezing and snowing everywhere. Ilko, oi, dude, that is this though. This is what we're trying to create. This is, well, I mean, they, there's no way for them to properly defend that if we get our passes right. No way. Oh, yes. shoden has got the stupid uh, Jack Grealish headband. Love it. Christian Kuba, oh, what a pass! And it's an assist for Christian Kuba on his debut! A lovely ball from Christian Kuba, the Bolivian international. And he's unlocked the defense to Mate Bala's lovely finish. Jean Rogel. Oh, that was still. Oh, what a look at Christian Kuba! The hustle on that. Why are we not closing this down? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Turden, interesting. That worked. Oh, he should have gone to Vanderhorst. It was there. Sestak. Well, that's a lovely ball, lovely touch, and a not a lovely finish. Have you broken the Salzburg domain? We have two matches in hand and we're behind by eight points, so we can. Oh, Vanderhorst, yes! We just gotta keep taking care of business. This is a tough match in the perspiration against Rapid Vienna. Sestag, Balas, great run from Vanderhorst. He's ungovernable. God, that is so bad. What are we doing here? He's the only guy going in. 
Brodniak stays with Gerbich for three years, then gets there anyways, and then stops running again. From midfielder. Ooh, that's a tough pass, but that's what Vanderhorst is here for. Way to stretch the field. Way to stretch the field. Now we're cooking. Ilko, Sestak. Ilko. Oh, Vanderhorst. He goes straight. Oh! Whoa, he did not cover the middle of the field well. We're still not covering the middle of the field well, but it doesn't matter. Because Malblanche's taking it away, and we're on the break again. Apparently, that wasn't even the highlight. Oh, this is the highlight. Oh. What a pass. What a pass by Rodriguez. And we're looking at a 2-1 win. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. I'll take that. You know, we didn't play up to our ability, of course, the whole way. We, we didn't take advantage of some opportunities that we got when we got in on goal, but we won the game. We won the game. <sighs> I thought we did well. I thought we created the opportunities that we needed. We are now five points behind with a match in hand, thanks to that win. Marriage doesn't fill me with confidence. Well, oh my goodness. Oh no. You're up, kid. not available oh cool how i so broche is here and joseph volkart is here we're gonna take yeah volkart's that's the guy i was looking for 17 year old right yeah oh he is available don't, don't don't tell me nonsense okay all right we need joseph volkart just yeah for something we just need him Unless Olofsson comes back from his flu in the next six days, that will be our starting goalkeeper for our first European match. Because Olofsson is the only goalkeeper we have registered for Europe. The Europa Conference League round of 32 against Vittoria Guimaraes. They're fast. They are very fast. Uh, we're going to look to play with confidence. I mean, we have a lot of quality in this team. Uh, if they're cutting in, then we need to play like a pure diamond here. Ilko needs to be sitting in front of the back line. Vanderhorst needs to keep the pressure up there. I'm not worried about their midfield as much as their two wingers cutting in, and I need Ilko to be in the way. I need him to be in the way. Okay, so we do not have Olofsson for this game. He is out Oh, six more days. Good God, man. He's barely going to be back for the home leg of this. He, how long did we send him home for? Seriously, dude, it's a flu. And Volkert, uh, Joseph Volkert, will be stepping in between the pipes, ladies and gentlemen, as the goalkeeper in his debut for the club. Just how he dreamed. This is going to be fun. I'm going to have fun. We're going to have fun today because we are starting a Youth Academy product in our European knockout match. Come on, Shodan. Just, you know, just make it difficult. Make him hit it away from the goal. Good save. Okay. He barely got there, but he did get there. We want to get to the home leg. Getting to the home leg with a draw is definitely fine. We are more than capable of hitting somebody on the counter, though. That hurts. Literally right at halftime, we give up a set-piece play. Got nothing to do with the keeper, too. Just bad defense. Why is Lima doing that? Why in the world would Lima... That went right down the middle of the goal. All right, here we go. There's a very clear ball into the half space for Vanderhorst that we've turned down. Ball wide, Shodan. He's, I think, off. I guess not. We'll take it. Goal! He's not off because Colombo touched it. He was super off. Ilko's. So I want to help us break the press. Let's bring in Vince Brody and take Ilko off. I want to help us break the press, and that's going to help us break the press. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I don't do this a lot, but I'm going to do it uh, now. We're going to go to the halfback. 
Vince Brody is going to drop between the center backs and pick the ball up so that we're more efficient getting out of their pressure. All right, just uh, take a shot and send it over. All right. Thank you, Volkert. Roll it, roll it, roll the ball. Okay. Yeah, we're giving up a lot of set pieces, and it's really killing us. What is this marking, though? I mean, this is just frustrating to watch. There's nothing you can do on your set piece instructions. To st Dude, this game, every once in a while, like, I love this game, right? And, every, and so many times, it is so realistic. But then every once in a while, you break out one of these, and you're just like... Like, and there's no way for me to... To, to not have that happen. I mean, that is a training ground side volley. All right, let's see if we can get a goal back here. Give ourselves an opportunity and the home leg. There's a pass. There's a pass. It's a tough finish. Oh. Good pressure. Oh, my goodness, Shodan. That was so good. Okay, uh, Kristen Kuba. Great spot. Is he on here? Uh, wow. He was. Yeah, it's a tough second half, but we also we gave up four goals on 0.99 XG because we were playing a bad goalkeeper and um Yeah, definitely not good enough. I feel like I say this a lot uh with this team this year. We're good enough to beat and you know, in, in everything that's not the league, because in the league we're taking out the trash, but you know, we're good enough to beat them. We just you know, Olafson's not there and we didn't register the other goalkeeper because we made the executive decision that we would um we would more likely need the other people because the only thing that can really take a goalkeeper out is a training injury, and he got the flu. So, here we go. Then Brody, Kuba, Nira, Sunday Madu, Brodniak's down here because he's catching some rest before the next match. Sestak and then Luka Maric is in goal, so thank goodness we, we weren't having to use our 17-year-old. We're all set. Okay, let's go play a league match. Away to Sturm Graz, one of those teams that we always seem to have a bit of an issue with. But we are, we're rolling right now. Thank you. Oh, Lima. My goodness. How do you end up too far inside and we didn't concede the corner? It's magic. Haven't you sold Ilko? Yes, he's loaned back till the end of the season. Which ended up being a really good choice with Gavrich also moving on to a Torbjornsson to Rodriguez. Yes. Goal! Very good news that we found a goal. Pablo Rodriguez. Oh no, Turden just got his hips all wrong there. Oh my goodness, that was a much better chance than the one they just scored. We've just not had a shot since we scored in like the 15th minute. I'm not it's crazy disappointed with like the chances we've given up. We just feel completely not creative at all. Oh, there you go, there you go, Sestak. Oh, wow, that is just such an awful ball, Sestak. For somebody that can pass, that hurts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh no. All right, Vanderhorst, Mel Blanche, Rodriguez, that's just fantastic. You Dorfers! Oh! On the road against Sturm Graz. Was it Rodriguez that made the... Uh, look at that. Vanderhorst, then Malblanche, then Rodriguez, and then the use offside, so he leaves it, and Marcel Baran's able to tuck it home. Yes! We played narrow. I don't think we... I don't think we ever play well when we play narrow. 
Uh, but that's on the road against the top four team rotating. <sighs> we managed it. Five points back with a match in hand because Salzburg won today. We're just there to apply a healthy amount of pressure and keep this league interesting. You know what I'm saying?